Welcome back, Faith Warriors. Faith Warrior Project checking in with you. I just wanted to make a quick video really quick because as I was driving today, I noticed in the sky that there was a lot of clouds. We're going to talk about clouds today. Why are we going to talk about clouds? Because in the book of 1 Thessalonians, the fourth chapter, when the Apostle Paul was speaking about the rapture, he was also spoke about clouds. So let's go to the book of 1 Thessalonians really quick. And let's jump into 1 Thessalonians, fourth chapter. And it says, for the Lord himself, with a word of command, with the voice of an archangel and with the trumpet of God will come down from heaven and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive, who are left, will be caught up together with them in the clouds. There it is, the clouds. To meet the Lord in the air. Thus, we shall always be with the Lord. Therefore, comfort one another with these words. So, on the day that Jesus Christ literally comes from heaven, Literally, we're going to be able to see him, literally. When he comes down from heaven, right? We will meet him in the clouds. The Bible said in the clouds. <laughs> so them clouds that you see in the sky right now, if you're outside right now, wherever you're looking at this video at, and if you're taking a look outside and you see clouds, know that one day, the Lord himself shall descend from heaven and he's going to be in those clouds and the dead in Christ shall rise first. And we, which that, you know, that are, that is alive and remain shall be called up and meet the Lord in the clouds, in the air. It says for us to comfort one another with these words. So I want to comfort you right now with these words that those clouds that you see has great significance because it's saying that the rapture will take place on a day when there's clouds in the sky. There will be clouds in the sky on the day of the rapture. Because we go the Bible said we're going to meet him in the clouds. Not symbolic clouds. Those clouds are not symbolic or anything. There, there will be there are going to be literal clouds in the sky on the day of the rapture. Look at the clouds. I'm looking at the clouds now. I'm look, checking them out right now because that is the clouds are God's creation. He created the clouds. Created the clouds. Look at the clouds, people. Look at the clouds, faith warriors. Look at the clouds. Look at them. One day we're going to see Jesus there. We're going to hear the trumpets blow. And in the blink of an eye, we shall be changed. Our bodies shall be changed. This fleshly body that you have now, it shall be changed into an incorruptible and undying body. A immortal body. It shall be changed in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye. And we shall be able to behold Jesus face to face. Face to face, we shall be able to behold our maker and be able to look him in his eyes. Can you imagine that? Meeting the Lord in the air. You've been praying to him all this long about your problems, about your struggles, your trials and your tribulations. And in the midst of your trials, your tribulations, you did not forsake God. You did not shipwreck your faith. You held on. You probably cried, but you held on. And here comes this rapture date. And you've been counted worthy to be able to go into the rapture. And then you were able to see Jesus face to face. Oh, what joy you will have on that day. Oh, what joy you will have on that day, faith warrior. All your problems and your calamities and your ailments that you may have been facing, it shall be gone because you're going to be right in the midst of Jesus, face to face with Jesus. 
We need to all pray that we be counted worthy to be in a rapture. That is an event that will happen. People may call you Looney Tunes. They gonna say that you crazy and all these different things. But you know what? Let them call you crazy because you are living to live again. You are living to please your maker. You are living to see Jesus. He's coming back soon, everybody. And we gonna meet him in those clouds. Think about the clouds. Think about them. Think about them. We gonna meet them in the clouds. We gonna be able to see the white garment. We gonna be able to see him. We may be able to touch to him in his garment. I don't know how that day going to be. I have no idea. I have no idea when that day is going to even happen. I don't know. It can be a normal day like today. As I sit in my car, it could be on a normal day just like today. And it can happen. Right? The days of Noah with the flood. The Bible said they continue marrying and drinking and stuff like that until the day Noah shut the door to the ark. <laughs> Nobody didn't want to believe Noah when he said that it was going to be a flood. Just like a lot of people don't believe that Jesus Christ is coming back. But he is coming back. Listen, everybody. Please don't let the things in this world distract you. Don't let it cause you to lose hope. Don't let sin get the best of you. Be not overcome with evil, but overcome evil with the goodness of Jesus Christ. Let not your heart be troubled. Don't let the cares of this life choke the word of God out of you. Don't let your light go out, but let it shine. Don't throw in your towel. Hold on to it a little longer. Give it to Jesus. Let Jesus become your life coach. Let Jesus become your healer. Let Jesus become your purifier. Let Jesus become your savior and your deliverer. Deliverer. Let him become your salvation so that you can meet him in the clouds. If somebody mistreated you, somebody sinned against you, Forgive them. Don't harbor bitterness. Please don't. Whatever kind of problem you're dealing with, please don't let it get the best of you. Ask God to prepare you. Prepare your heart, your mind, and your soul. Those clouds, I see clouds right now in the sky. And I know that one day we're going to meet the Lord in the clouds. Make sure that you are right. The Bible said, examine yourself to see are you in the faith. Make sure that you are right with God. Don't go alone thinking that you're okay when you know that you're not okay. You know that you are in sin and what you're saying is okay. Don't go alone. Be truthful in your confessions and ask God to make you right. Ask God to create in you a clean heart and renew the right spirit within you. Ask God to breathe into you day by day so that your heart can be pure before him always. Ask God to teach you his word and to show you his word so that you can walk in his truth. Ask God to put your, his word into your heart so that you will not sin against him. Ask God to be your refuge and your fortress. Ask God to be these things so when a rapture comes, you are ready. I want to see you face to face. I want to see Jesus face to face. I want all of us to go up there. For our life has to be right. We can't be willfully living in rebellion against God and think that it's okay. Because you shall reap what you sow. If you do the things of the flesh, you shall have the flesh die. But if you do the things of the spirit, you shall have the spirit reap everlasting life. This is your time to get it right while you're on this earth right now in your right frame of mind. Don't you want to see Jesus in the clouds? Don't you want to see him smile 
at you and say, my good and faithful servant, enter into my rest. Don't you want that to happen? Well, let's get it together, everyone. Let's get it together right now. I hope this video is touching somebody right now. Hoping somebody is being blessed by this video right now. I hope somebody is realizing that I do need to get my life together. Listen, I had a lot of issues in my life. I had a lot of ups and I had a lot of downs. And all of them were self-inflicted. The sins that I did has been self-inflicted. And I had to realize that I needed God to, I had to realize that I needed to be forgiven by God. God gave me space to repent of my sins and to turn from my sins. And I did that. And he helped me. I could not do it all by myself. I could not do it by myself. You know why? Because my strength is not enough. I know that I need Jesus to save me. I know that I need Jesus to deliver me. I know that I am nothing without Jesus. I am nothing. I declare it today. I am nothing without Jesus. I need him every single day. And you do too. You're trying to do these things all by yourself. You're going to lose every single time. Satan is more stronger than you. You need somebody that is more stronger than him. And that person is Jesus Christ, the righteous. If you let Jesus into your life, he will fight your battles for him. But if you try to do them by yourself, you will fall every single time. I encourage you today. Thank on Jesus. Believe on Jesus and trust in Jesus and follow Jesus until the day that he comes and you hear the trumpet blows and you meet him in the clouds. The clouds, everybody, the clouds, the clouds, the clouds, they have meaning, they have purpose. And the purpose is we're going to meet him in the clouds and we're going to see him. I literally want to go up to Jesus and look him in his eyes and tell him thank you. I tell him thank you all the time, right? But I want to literally look him in his eyes and shake his hand and tell him thank you. Thank you for forgiving me of my sins. Thank you for giving me second, third, fourth, and fifth and how many other chances that it has been. Thank you for that. Thank you for not casting me into hell. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I want to tell him those things. Because it's by his grace and his mercy that I am here today to share this with you. Please, faith warriors. Please. Let's live for God. Let's stand for God. And let's be all about God. Until next time. Remember the clouds. The clouds. I love the clouds. The clouds are an awesome creation. Because I know that one day I shall see Jesus. And I shall see him in the clouds. Until next time, faith warriors, let's continue to fight the good fight of faith and let us lay hold onto eternal life. Jesus forever. Bye-bye.